to the zone. I'm your host, Keith Morris. And I'm Andy Russell. And as you can see, we got an off the hook show for you guys today. We're coming from the hottest spot in the Midwest. That's right, our brand new studio. It's the underground, y'all. And it's going to be a hot show for you guys today. That's right. And there's a lining up of people all the way around the building. And they're here to see the Where Do We Go From Here, the tour. It features performances from Falling Up, Sub 7, Project 86, and the headliner, Pillar. And plus, it's a sold-out show, y'all, so you ain't gonna want to go nowhere. We got that video lined up for you, kids in the way, the grits, and we got the artist lowdown. I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be an off-the-hook show. They talk about racism and prejudice. That's right, and we're gonna take you inside and check in with our co-host, Matthew Ronan, who's on the floor tonight. All right, before we do that, let's kick it into our first video. Before we go inside, here's our man, LG Wise, from Cincinnati. Hey, check out the video right here on The Zone, baby. In the curse, and they're feeling us sad. Too many of the shortage are in the hearse before they know what they dare. How many of the sons I never know the daddies for the young and confused. And so it's the streets to learn to live. So many of their shoes and they lose. It's like the day you pop die. A place in your heart, you gon' cry. I can't lie. The Lord will come and they wipe the tears from your eyes. But Jesus shed his blood to save a thug. The devil has got his bust and slug. Hate his bust and see. But he still showed them love. And it's the thug that need your love. So the thugs that need your hug. Lord, we need you on these streets. That's why we sign for these stuff. So we in the outlaw. We come follow asking you for forgiveness. So you be coming to our heart and help us saving our children. Now, hey, young world, from Lauderdale to the Bay. Now, hey, young world, from MIA to LA. Now, hey, young world, from Carolina VA. Lord, no, hear these studs cry, you come and save us today. To all my shorties on the block. Hey, young world. To all your thugs saying right. Hey, young world. Even if you run like Guaranteed to you, young dudes in the wildlife, still living tired like criminal wild, double juvenile, loving the wild out, born with an anger from where he don't even know. For honey, years of oppression and his bound to show, said he murdered his teachers on the last day of school. One shot from a 22 left from blue, what to do? Hey, young girl, don't believe in what they're telling you. You can prevail, living in hell, you ain't a failure. Hey, young girl, I know the times is hard, but believe in the light, it'll get you out of the dark. Have hustle, have smart. Jackers, yellow flag, give me that Before you get got Young world, boys and girls We all need Jesus Burned up for the hot fire Spit up out the heater Cash rock, white beaters Jean shorts and Adidas Big speakers beat Not your riggers Robbing the liquor We don't gang bang In the south Only dope routes Play around with dread money Get the teeth Shout out It's no joke, boy Another great sight Visitation be home, boy Let the Lord really take them Don't gotta live that way The world is yours All you gotta do is pray no remorse, you can make it go. I know the rent is due. God promised the land, so it belongs to you. To all my riders all night, is trying to hustle for us about the streets. Got you stressed out, making your rocks such a fighter. To all my shorties on the block, hey young world. To all your thugs saying right, hey young world. Even if you run like that. As you can see, that video has some off-the-hook images of the city. And LG Wise has a heart for the city. And it's a good thing to have him in Cincinnati. Welcome. All right, now, as you can see, we finally made it inside the brand new studio of The Zone. Now, we're going to give you guys a real quick tour of all the underground has to offer. Go ahead and take a look. Underground is off the hook. 
I got Sub 7 playing in the background, and they're part of the Pillar Tour. So I don't care how you guys do it, get to the underground. Now it's time for us to get backstage and holler at our girl Becky. Hey there, I am once again backstage, this time with the men of Falling Up. Thank you guys so much, yeah. welcome. Hey. Well first off, you gotta break down the name for us. Falling Up, what's that all about? Falling Up, the name comes from Romans 3.23, which says, for all of sin and fall short of the glory of God. So basically it's like, when, you know, just because we're up on stage doesn't mean like we're any better than anybody else, you know, like we fall short, but through the blood of Christ, we lift it back up. So that's where the name comes from. I hear your sound is Pash Rock. What does that mean, Pash Rock? More kind of a cool thing lately and for a while has been emo, which is emotional. And kind of, well, we love emo. We love a lot of emo bands. We feel called kind of to be passionate because emotions can be fleeting and can change and really live for the moment, you know. But with passion, you know, when Jesse writes lyrics, it's based off scripture and what is fact and what's solid and firm. And we feel that this is this band is expressing our passion and uh so pash is kind of short for passionate pash rock my time is up backstage here so i'm going to send it over to matthew who's probably gaming around right now hey what's up i'm matthew this is my friend chris hey, what's up chris what's going on he's about to get schooled in some foosball watching what come on come on what oh it's that come on anyway we gotta take a break we got, we got scored on. We got to take a break. More of the bands, more videos. We got the artist lowdown. Stay here in the zone. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys. Welcome back to the zone. We are here at the underground. And right now, Falling Up is performing right behind me. They are rocking the stage. They are working the crowd. There is definitely an energy in the air tonight. Falling Up is promoting Pillar's new CD, Where Do We Go From Here, following the tour. Well, we have more bands to come, but right now, we're getting into our next video, which is by Kids in the Way. Their song, Phoenix with a Heartache, cracked the top 10 national Christian R&R charts, and it's a skillet this winter. Check it out on the website. We're chilling, relaxed, looking at the fishes, listening to the soothing sounds of Project 86. Aren't they soothing? Yeah. What are we going to do next? Who are we going to? Kimar. Where's he at? Right. Thanks, Matthew. All right, make sure you guys check out the website, surfthezone.com. Drop us a line. And while you're online, be sure to check out the UG.com. Check out the calendar, find out what artists you want to come see, and come check them out. All right, well, now it's time for us to take a short break, but don't go nowhere, because we got more coming up from the Pillar concert. We've got that all important artist lowdown where we're talking about racism and prejudice today. And we got more videos coming from Grits and Pillar. I'm telling y'all, show off the hook. I'm excited. All right. Welcome back to The Zone. As you can see, we're here at the Underground with our feature headliner, Pillar, on stage right now, rocking the house, doing big things. Are you excited, Andy? I'm so excited. We've talked about it, we've anticipated it, and now they're performing right behind us. Their tour is called Where Do We Go From Here, which is promoting their new CD. So, by the way it sounds, you guys definitely want to pick that up. Yeah, because I heard the CD is hot. Now, Pillar won't be the only national artist that we bring to the stage for you guys. We want to be bringing artists from all over the country, so make sure you guys keep it locked right here in The Zone. That's right, Kimar. And just for you guys, we were able to catch Pillar backstage earlier tonight with our co artist correspondent, Becca. So you guys can see that right now. Hey, everybody. I am backstage right now at the Underground with the guys of Pillar. Thank you guys very much for talking with us. Well, first of all, how is the tour going? It's going awesome. We're having a lot of fun. We actually just had a break, and we, this is our first show on the second leg, and we're going to be out for a month solid. It looks like it's going to be an awesome show. I think the line was down the street. Yeah, I noticed that. I had trouble even getting into the lot because of all the people wrapped around the building. You guys are all pretty good crowd, I might say. I like rock star material. All right. You guys look the rock star material. Look at you with the dress. I was walking, and these guys... I was, I was walking past, and all the kids were like, wow. <laughs> the video that you guys are going to see in just a second was shot at Tennessee State Prison, is that right? Isn't that where they shot the, the Green Mile? Yeah. How cool was that? It was pretty awesome. The place was totally abandoned. I think it's been closed for 30, 40, 50 years. Um, they had a, a guard come down there specifically to open the place up for us and kind of show us around. We got to see where the death row was and the, the electric chair used to be. It was taken out, but it was kind of 
Fury to be there. But do you guys want to see what they're talking about? Would you guys like to do the honors? Check out our new video for our song, Bring You Down. We're going to tear the place down. Most definitely is, you know what, but it, it's got to start with the parents, I think, because a lot of times racism isn't something you're, you're, you're uh, just automatically have in you. I just think that, that that all comes from ignorance. A lot of it's passed down from generation to generation, and if people can begin to raise up their kids and re-educate people that are already educated, things can change. If you, it's been running in the family, it's like it's a new start here. If you're choosing to, to break that line, you know, then uh, I think it's time to just speak up. It's going to take people getting out of their comfort zones, you know what I mean? It's going to take people going past what's easy for them and, and doing what might be a little uncomfortable but worth it. But having friends that are from different cultures and, and meeting people from different cultures. If me and you were two little kids and he was a kid, you know, a white guy, and they threw us out in the playground, we would all play with each other. When we get to know people that, that may make us feel uncomfortable at first, it'll totally help us with racism or prejudice. There's been people for years and years that have tried to set out, here's a plan, here's a plan, but I think it basically comes back to exactly what the Bible teaches, and if we would start to grasp that, I think we'd be in good shape, and that's just to love your brother like you would have anybody love yourself. It sounds like the simplest thing in the world, but people just don't get it. Love? <laughs> you know, it's pretty. It's a, it's a simple concept, and I think we've fallen so far away from it. Um, but I think if we love ourselves and love each other and love God enough, then everything else will fall into place and those things won't, won't even be, you know, won't even exist. We're called to, to love everybody, uh, no matter the color of their skin, uh, their rank in society, uh, how much money they have, what kind of car they drive. Um, this is plain as simple as that. We're just called to, to love everybody. The answer to all that is love. We gotta learn to stop hating and to stop, you know, uh, uh, judging people for their color and this and that and just saying, you know what, man, God is love, so let me be love. That's the, that's the bottom line. As far as racism is concerned, uh, I think that's always going to kind of be there due to sin. But um, in the body of Christ, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? It's very much there. Anytime I walk into a Christian bookstore and there's still black gospel and Christian music as if they're two separate identities, uh, the body of Christ is helping to perpetuate the epidemic that we've been experiencing for years. So is there a solution? Yes. When people understand that God has created us all, he's, he's created no one color better than the other. Um, I think that will level anybody. We have to show them there is no Jew or Gentile, there is no gender, gender male or female. It's Christ is the number one solution. The solution is us coming together and showing, how the, showing the world how it should be done. Kingdom first. to the zone. We got future shows from the underground. We got Skillet, Pigeon John, John Rubin, A Battle of the Bands, much more. Hey y'all, I don't know what they say is loud in this piece. It's crazy, but we want to give a special thanks to Mobile Comp for providing our communication equipment. Hey, until next time, y'all, we're going to holler at y'all. I'm ready to rock out. Toxins in the abyss box and you win so you don't miss me getting your rocks.